Right, we're still on um, <laughs> gizmo apology apology mode. He's still been really jumpy all day and keeps running away from me and stuff. But no, then he gets all cuddly. But I proper fucking clonketed him, didn't I, mate? Yeah, it was horrible. It was literally like... <laughs> Not as I was reaching round quick to just stroke him. <laughs> I felt fucking terrible. I felt fucking terrible. I proper fucking connected. It really hurt him. It really did. It was horrible. And I'd done it last night. I'd done it last night. The other day I did it about four times. I kept rolling over on him. Because he sits really close and I don't realise. He's coming up and he's being cuddly. And then Daddy reaches over and fucking <laughs> hits him. And it's just got him to be thinking why what are you doing why are you doing this why do you keep hitting me he's really fucking upset and confused i don't blame him so now he's doing the walk around in circles a lot dance aren't you and he's sailing down and he's happy which is so fucking cool well, he's still he's still jumpy he's still jumpy i had to just grab him from running away just now didn't i mate because you shitted your little panties didn't you oh that's gizmo <laughs> he's all right so I had my um, gorgeous fucking hair done again. Look how many she's got in at the back. Fucking <laughs> loads. I don't know what word I was trying to say there. Masses, probably. <laughs> Monstrous. But there's fucking shit loads. It's, I don't know. She's <laughs> there's just a hell of a lot more at the back than anywhere else. There's a big old clump. But I had those done. And I went to my wellbeing group. And it was all right, actually. There was... Um, yeah, there was um, there was one guy that, like, he was pissing me off. <laughs> Even before I went in there, he was hanging around outside the bungalows. He just kept staring at my fucking car. And it's like one of those where... Th this is one of those sort of trapped moments, actually. It's like, I'm getting fucking tense with him. I'm thinking, fuck off, mate. I fucking want to talk to you. you fucking stop staring at me like you know me. Just fuck off. You know, it's, I'm, I'm thinking, just fuck off. And someone else would go, oh, it's not his fault. He's probably anxious. And I'm like, right, why does he get all the understanding about mental health issues all of a fucking sudden and I get zero? I'm extremely impatient and that's not my fault. He's actually being rude, if you think about it. I'm in my personal fucking space and he keeps fucking staring at it. That's rude, right? That's rude. You can tell anyone to fuck off if they keep staring at you. What the fuck do you want? People say that to me all the time if I stare at them. But I know that if I got angry about that, He'd get all the sympathy. <laughs> but it's like, actually, no, both of us can't help it. Both of us can't fucking help it. Um, and anyway, I didn't tell him to fuck off. I just really wanted to. And uh, I don't know what his issues are, but like, I don't know why he's at that group because he didn't. He just kept saying, I don't know, to everything. Don't know. Can't think of anything. Don't know. So um, I just don't think he wanted... I think he wanted one-to-one -one support. Like everyone does. Like everyone does. You know what I mean? But... Um, Groups is what you got, mate. Groups is what you fucking got. <laughs> but it was okay, because it was about, like, sort of goal setting. But it was, like, when have I actually written them down? Nope. <laughs> I mean, there's lots of elements to my dream. There's lots of parts to it. And so I was talking about some of them. Like, you really have dreamed this all up, haven't you? And I said, yeah, but that's been my problem. It's, I'm, I'm great at conceptualising. I'm great at fi you know fixing on the goal and the future and and, and and all that. It's just the it's just getting everything into motion. Is why that's why I'm here. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, but it was all right. It was all right. They were quite sound. And one of them, she's well sound. She's laid back as fuck. She's you know. The, I went to the toilet and like as I walked out, I, she dropped something. She just heard her just go oh, for fuck's sake. She's a proper girl, you know what I mean? She's right down to earth. She's <laughs> proper down to earth. Um, but she just looked up when I was... It was something that I was talking about. And she's a support time recovery worker. And she just said, oh, well, when you finished your DBT, she said, have a word um, have a word with Dr. Schrader. And he might, well, refer you to me anyway. Because it's like, oh, yeah, because that would be getting discharged from psychiatry. <laughs> Whereas before I was discharged from psychology. And there's two teams that weren't there. So, like I said before, it's all that sort of box ticking exercise. You know, if you happen to have been seen by this doctor, then you're on that side of things. So therefore you automatically get this. Um, I know when I mentioned the DBT, it was one, it was really good actually. One of the other, my peers, I suppose you'd call her, 
she looked up and she said, oh, I had a course of DBT a while ago. It was really, really good. I said, oh, thank you. That's like, I said, it's encouraging. And she went, it's intense. I said, I said, good. I want it to be. I want it to be thorough. I want it to be deep and, and you know, because if it's not, it's something I can probably do. <laughs> Seriously. Um, and what I can do isn't working. Um, so that was really nice. Um, but then, yeah, she talked about, she said, you you might get well get um, referred back to us. So I might even get like an ongoing support time recovery worker, which is what I thought I was going to get. It's what I originally asked for. It's what I originally asked for because I knew you got, that's, that's the name for them, support time recovery workers. Uh, I think there might be a band four, actually, some of them. But they're like, like what well, I was, a band three nurse, but out in the community. And it's um, it's a very coveted job in the health service. Because it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Quite a lot of the time, you can just, you know, be helping people out with going outside. And they might say, I want to go to the beach. Or I want to go to the park and throw a frisbee. <laughs> and you, yeah, we might go shopping with them. Or something like that. And it's, it's just some very nice, pleasant things to do with people. Of course, it can be hard. Of course, you'll have people with very complex needs and stuff. But um, she's the right sort of person for the job she's doing, definitely. So it'd be cool. It'd be cool if she became my support worker. Um, but that's like, yeah, and again, that's in a couple of months' time. <coughs> and I've got my other one for now, so so it's all good. I might, you know, technically, she's the one I've got for now is helping, uh, wants to help me get a PA with my benefit. That's what she wants to get, like, just someone to really come in and manage all the nitty gritty cool stuff. Um, so potentially, I might get them. And, you know, that'll be the sort of thing that makes you go, oh, you lucky bastard, or whatever, or fucking. Uh, oh, what do you think's wrong with you? That would be another response. Wouldn't it? Why do you need all that? What are you telling me? You can't fucking type. You're on Facebook all the time. Blah, blah. But on the other hand, it's like, no, I'm, again, I'm getting all these affirmations that I am not talking out of my ass. I'm not making it up. I'm not imagining things. And I'm hardly fucking enjoying it. <laughs> but it's true. It's, um, it, you know, it is that, validation of it it's like yeah you need you just need a bit of fucking help there's nothing like essentially wrong wrong it's not not anything that can't be helped managed dealt with sorted got to a better space with got to a manageable level with that's what my, my aim is is to get myself up and running as it were and then and then fuck you <laughs> hard <laughs> no i won't carry on with that conversation because that would get really pornographical and no, <laughs> we're not into phonography. <laughs> phonography, sex talk. <laughs> I like it. I like it. He was just putting his paws on me, then, weren't you? He's having a little paw, a little paw up. He's back to giz again. It's taken about twenty four hours, isn't it, mate? Taking a while. Taking a while, you poor little baby. I do. I feel terrible. Feel terrible. It's that horrible feeling. Can you imagine just smacking your child in the fucking face? Because <laughs> he is my child. Aren't you? You're my baby. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's all right. Um, there isn't one next week because they're having some thing of me day or whatever. But there's one the week after, so I know where to go now. I know exactly where to go, and um, it's well handy because there's patient parking there. So I can literally park a 10 second walk from the building um, and no one else will park there because it's, it's in a hospital. Do you know what I mean? None of the staff park there. No one parks there. It's, it's quite clearly patient parking only. Hardly ever, ever see anyone parked there because a lot of them come down with, um, a lot of them come down with support workers and the support workers would park elsewhere because <laughs> they can't park in patients because they're not a patient. They can't use their car to park in patient spaces. <coughs> Most of the people that I see in that hospital come down supervised. I'm one of the few that manages. <laughs> Look, there goes the day walker, the lone, the lone stroller. <laughs> How can he do this? <laughs> but yeah, um, like I've said before, I'm kind of on the verge of it. I know I don't seem like it. I know I don't look like it because I seem to be fucking normal. No, that's, that's not right, is it? I don't seem normal. But I seem like I should be able to do the things that I can't. You know, I'm probably just making it up. <laughs> I probably just want attention. Just doing it for attention. Probably just using it as an excuse. How often have you heard that? Don't use it as an excuse. <laughs> excuse for what? That's right. I deliberately be a cunt. So 
so that you can't have a go at me for being a cunt because I can say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a clinical cunt. <laughs> I'm a medical cunt, actually. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> medical cunt. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, but yeah, that's like, that's um, probably we should wrap it up for this one, really. It's a report back on what I was, I didn't know what the group was going to be about. But I walked away thinking, do you know what? That was all right. I was focusing on my future. Um, I helped. I helped out a couple of people. I gave. I gave them a couple of people a bit of well, the girl that spoke to me about DBT. She was talking about being a personal trainer, um, just the the level two, which is uh, called a gym instructor. I think at that level, and then you're a personal trainer at level three. And I told her that I'd done the course and told her where I did it, and she was asking about it. She was very interested in writing it all down. So I helped her out a little bit, and she said, "Do you think forty is too old to be a personal trainer?" And I said, "No." I was 42 when I qualified as a physio. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm still qualified as a physio. I'm still qualified as a personal trainer. Uh, I said the human body is not old at 40. It's not past it. Um, but yeah, personally, from a, from a personal view, I would I would want to be in tip-top condition and look like I at least hit the gym in order to work as a personal trainer. But that's just because of me. When I get scrawny blokes, particularly when I was a bit bigger... <laughs> Look at scrawny blokes telling me how to build muscle. I'm not being really funny, mate. Fucking look at you. And then I'm 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 like a lot of blokes that I used to meet. Oh, I used to I used to be your size. I used to, I was just fucking I used to get fucked off being that size with the amount of blokes that told me how big uh, that they used to be like my my size or bigger. But I've kind of turned into one because it is you do sort of think yeah I was there I'd achieved it, I had achieved it. I was a, I was not a fucking you know I wasn't he man but I was a fucking unit. I was a fucking unit. People would be like, oh, fucking hell. Shit like that. People who didn't know me. It's all oh, fucking muscle man's here. You get all those sorts of comments. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I can, I can get that back. I can get that fucking back. Just need to keep my head in the fucking... Just need to keep going to the gym. That's really simple. <laughs> well, it's not simple because you're struggling with it, aren't you, Mikey? Oh, yeah. I am. I'm supposed to be able to go, though. Yeah, I know, but you can't. <laughs> don't know why. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was all right. It was all right. I'll go to. I'll go to more. It's it's another one day a week where I'm going to have a structured, focused, mental health uh, focused <laughs> group to go to, and they're all right. They're sound people. It is the sort of group where you can't get anything wrong. Whatever you say, oh, that sounds brilliant. <laughs> I really like the way you did that. But that's yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I took it seriously. I've, I wrote down the answers to all the questions. I've still got my hand out. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep them all in folder and refer back to them. All of that. It's like, yeah, it's, it's like fucking schoolwork. It's like GCSE level fucking stuff in a handout. But there you go. If that's what you've got to do, that's what you've got to do. If it's another brick in the wall, it's another brick in the wall. There's another step to recovery. It's another step to recovery. Now, will I call this a brick in the recovery or a step to the wall? <laughs> I don't know. None of them. <laughs>